Welcome back everyone, Grimer here coming at you again from the Clubhouse SMP server. Okay, so last episode I did some mining in the resource world, and uh, the resource world has reset, by the way, so it's, uh, it's brand spanking new. Uh, I did manage to squeeze in some recording before they did the reset and do some a little bit of AFK fishing and get some stuff. Nothing really overpowered. Uh, I got Silk Touch is probably my best one. Maybe efficiency C4, eh, it's not bad. But I got I got some cool things like a, a blaze head and a uh, creeper head last episode also while I was in the nether and, and while I was just fighting mobs on the surface. Uh, but I got 41 levels, so I really need to buckle down and uh, and uh, kind of get set up. Now, I only have 15 leather, so these 41 levels would be great if I could go to an enchanting setup. Now, there's this sign here that says Community Enchant House. I actually can't find it. I've looked around all over the place. I don't know where it is. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop right back into the resource world and go cow hunting because... Uh, you know, you can murder all you want on the resource world. It doesn't really matter. On this world, though, I might set up a cow farm. Might not. I don't really know. I'm going to try to pull a lot of the resources from the resource world. So I'm going to head over this way. See what this world has to offer. Look at that. Getting all these advancements. Hopping in the new world. Uh, let's see. Mama Psalms and Fang appear to be in this world at the moment. Diamonds. Look at that. Got that one, too. Now, I think I'm going to roam around and, uh, and murder some cows here. So cue that ki uh, cow-killing montage. Aha! There's a couple. Let's get them. I suppose I should probably pick up the meat while I'm at it, too. I mean, waste not, you know. Boy, that iron golems looks like it's seen better days. Gah, somebody's been here already. Brewing stand is missing. Dang it, I thought that'd be a great way to get a brewing stand without having to use one of my blazer rods, but nope. I'll have to try to find a new village. Alright, now I am not one to discriminate between cows and horses. Both give me leather. However, I do have a saddle on right now, which or on me right now, which means that I could actually snag one of these horses. I just gotta get a clear inventory spot. I could snag one of these horses, and then I could actually ride around a lot faster looking for cows. So I think I'm gonna get one of them here. Assuming this one's not super slow. And then I'm gonna murder the rest for the leather. <laughs> Love me, dang it. I wanna see them hearts pop. Love me. Love me. Yeah. Rawhide. Taming horses. I'm not gonna give up. You will bend to my will. Assuming you're a fast one. No, I need you to be a fast horse. Oh, he's being stubborn. Wrangling horses in Minecraft. There we go, got him. Alright. Uh, so yeah. Let's see, is he fast? Oh, he's not too bad. I mean, I've, I've seen faster horses, but I mean, this one's not too shabby. I think I'll, I think I'll choose this one. We're gonna name him, uh, well actually, I'm not gonna name him anything, he's not gonna be my horse in the main world. So these ones all gotta go. I thought they dropped leather. Ah, yeah they do, okay, I was just getting unlucky. A lot of cows in this area too, so I might get everything I need right here, I might not need to ride around at all. Just bad news bears for my horse. <laughs> I do wish that whenever you're hitting an entity in grass like this, that it prioritizes the entity instead of the grass. Because that is kind of annoying whenever you charge up your axe and you swing and you just hit a blade of grass instead. Come here, cows, moo! I'm up to 27. I think I need 45 leather, I think it is. 46 maybe for the uh, adding the... Uh... Basically, I'm going to collect a stack of leather. I'm going to keep going until I get a stack. Horses make such a god-awful noise when they die, too. I like the cows, they die in one hit. Just choppy choppy. Choppy choppy. Choppy. Oh, that one's, that other one survived. Tough cow. There's a lot of cows around here, too. I might actually get to this uh, before I realize. Let me actually get this on the hotbar so I don't kill more than I need to. In the face. Alright. Let's see, that's up to 45, so I think now I have enough leather to do the enchantment set. I'm just going to get a little, a couple extra in case I want to do any item frames or whatnot. Ah, oh, there's some cows right there, right next to the desert. I knew I'd find them someplace. Now, the desert... Ooh, there's a desert village. I'm going to have to definitely go over there and see if I can't find anything interesting. Uh, let's get these cows quick. I don't have a lot of room. I don't really have a lot of room. I could make the enchanting, or the, the end chest, but then I don't have my silk touch pick working, which means I'd have to make an anvil just so I could put that book on there. I didn't get any leather from that, or did I... Did I, I don't know. That was kind of bad luck, I guess. I mean, honestly, I know where I could get one last, last little bit of uh, of uh, leather right here, riding the leather right here. All right, is this a? Uh, is, this looks like a uh, monastery kind of thing. Is there a? Uh, uh, or not monastery, like a church of some kind? Is I, I don't know the new villages too well, but is there? Oh, I could actually. Mm, 
to breed up some of the cows and leave a couple behind, but... Oh, I also don't have any cactus. Hmm. Well, I have this one seed in here, so I'm just going to snag the cactus, because I wouldn't mind getting that for making green, uh, green dye for various things. Okay, so there's the bed in here. Is there any kind of, like, brewing stand in this place? I don't know if there is. I don't know the, know the new villages well enough to know whether or not they're supposed to be... Oh, there's a little cactus in that thing there. This looks like a cartographer. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Diamonds. GG, Mama Psalms. Alright, I have got to find a couple more horses. Or a couple more, uh, couple more cows. Or, uh, hey, a couple more horses would be fine, too. I just need a couple more... Oh, that's a big hole in the ground. Look at this place. That's crazy generation right there. Some easy surface iron, too, which I don't really need. I got I got some iron. I'll, I'll find more iron as I go along, but I just need to get two, uh, just need to get a couple more cows. I see another village. There's These things are all over the place. This is a savanna village. Nifty. Oh, there's melons here. I think I have melons, but I'm pretty sure I put them in my end chest, and I don't have a whole lot of them. I'd like to actually snag those, but I gotta get my end chest up and running. Emeralds, nifty. Hmm. Okay, now I got a choice to make. I wouldn't mind taking these emeralds. But uh, what do I? What do I get rid of? I mean, I could get rid of weed seeds. I could probably find plenty of weed seeds later, so I'm going to do that. I've been holding on to those since the beginning for some reason. What do we got in here? More emeralds. That's what I like to see. So I don't think anyone explored this place. Oh, he's a little baby villager. I don't think anyone explored this place. I think this one's uh, untapped here. So grabbing all these emeralds. Got one in here. Sorry, I'm, I'm just looting your place. I'm just robbing you guys blind. That's a lot of seeds. Nothing in there. But I am looking for cows, actually. It's actually the whole reason why I'm here is just for cows. Well, when you come across a shipwreck that's sitting on the surface, you can't not go look at it, you know? <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, there's going to be a map in here. Just, whoa, my horse is stuck in the ground. Uh, there's going to be a map in here. I know I'm going to get off on some wild adventure. All right, what do we got in here? More emeralds is what I like to see. More iron, that's pretty cool. Uh, I think there is, uh, yeah, there's enough there to make. Um, uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do some stuff. Hold on one second. Let me get a workbench going. All right, there we go. Grab the iron. Grab the lapis. Um, had to condense some of it down. Now, there should be an underside of these things. I mean, there's an underside, all right, but that's, that's underwater. There we go. All right, buried treasure map. See, this is what this is. I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna get off on some crazy adventure and get wildly distracted. All right, let me get some air for a second. Figure out. I need to. I'm gonna need to throw something out, basically. Ah, uh, the axe. I'll do that for right now, so I can grab this buried treasure, and then we will go find this. And then I'm gonna have to worry about inventory management again when I get, get around to finding this. Oh, it's actually really close. It's right along this coastline, actually. All right, if I were a treasure, where would I be? I'd guess somewhere right around here. Aha, there it is, found it. Look at all that good stuff. All right, grab a couple of diamonds out of there. There's some more iron, which is nice. Got a little bit more gold, more emeralds. Heart of the sea is very valuable. TNT, I don't really know if I need quite at this moment. Snake some of this fish and top off what I already have. I actually have two stacks of fish. I might leave one here because I need to make room for the heart of the sea. So let's go, let's go ahead and make another block of this stuff real quick while we're here. That way I can condense it down even farther. Uh huh. And oh, we can also leave the buried treasure in here. I forgot about that, but that leaves it open for us to make a. Oh, if I had one more. Actually, no, I'm going to grab those. I'm going to go find one more bit of iron, cook it up, and then get my axe back. I wonder if I could find some cows on top of one of these uh, plateaus. Uh-huh. Yes, I can. Right here. Here's some cows. Kill them with a diamond pickaxe. Why not? Little well, baby cow. Sorry, I'm going to have to kill your parents. One day, when you're all grown up, find me and we'll talk about it. I need more leather than anyway. All right, two more pieces. One more piece. Come on, cow. He dropped it. All right, sweet. Got enough leather. Don't need to kill any more cows. Let's get back to the uh, the overworld. All right, so I have a dilemma. I got the horse in here, but now I don't have any room to actually take the saddle off of him. <laughs> so, hmm. All right, so I believe they're actually holding off on uh, the nether in this world. Uh, there's a bunch of fish making a bunch of racket down there. So let's head back to the actual overworld, the regular overworld, and uh, try to find a good place to settle down. 
All right, one thing I should do is I should try to condense as much as I can into the end chest so I can have more room for later. See, I didn't have many melons before, so. All right, so. Uh, what can I throw in here? I already got I have like two stacks of eggs. I probably don't need two stacks of eggs. I probably don't need this third stack, basically. Let's, uh, let me, uh, free stuff. Let me throw a stack of eggs in here and see if anyone wants that for later. I'll take this stack. Statistically, I should get two chickens out of all those. Uh, hopefully I get at least one out of this stack. <clears throat> Alright, that opens it up for me to throw things like the Heart of the Sea in there, because I don't have enough Nautilus shells to actually make that anyway. Um, I do want to keep at least one saddle on me so that I can find a horse along the way here and saddle it up. Uh, what else can I throw in there? The obsidian I want to keep. A lot of the stuff I want to keep, actually. I do have the ability to make this chest, so I don't have to worry about like not getting access to this once I settle down in some place. So I think what I'll do is I'll stick... Actually, I don't have anything that can stick in here because it's all completely full. So basically, I open up one whole spot. I'd have to clear stuff out of here to make room. Alright, so that opened up a little bit of room at least, so I'm not totally screwed. I got three three spots. Alright, but let's get uh, let's get to finding a location. So, I think I'm going to head... Um, what direction is That's northwest. Uh, north, north. Let's see, I'm going to head south. I'm going to try heading south and see what I can find. Um, hopefully I find a nice little location. I, would, I mean, it, it doesn't really have to be a very very good location come to think of it because I have an idea in mind for a base I've been doing some brainstorming off camera and I have an idea in mind for a base and it's going to be up in the sky I'm going to actually try to do something up in the sky I'm going to try to which means I'm probably going to fall to my death yeah it's going to happen probably uh, if I could get my hands on an elytra I would uh, one thing I want to get my hands on is there's a shop in town here I found off camera that's selling mending books I'm going to I think it's like three diamonds each I'm going to definitely be hitting that up I'll, I'll be back I will be back to get those but I don't have room for them right now so I'm just going to venture off into the wilderness Try to find myself a horse, that would be nice. Uh, I don't know if I could actually buy one from the stables, so I'm just going to leave. Because there's a stables back there at spawn. But um, even if I can, I wouldn't mind finding one and wrangling it in the wild, even though I did that in the resource world already. Somebody wrecked that mushroom pretty bad. A horse! <laughs> a horse with a saddle on it already. Um, I don't see anyone's base. There's also a cow, a couple cows. And there's something over there. Uh, let me go see if this belongs over there. Because I'll, I'll gladly return a horse, but if there's not a base in the area, I, I don't know who to return it to, so I'll just use it in the meantime. Uh, what does it say? Uh, dancing naked ladies, uh, come here to find them. Okay. <laughs> I <have a> Okay. <laughs> I guess they're opening a strip club maybe or something? I don't know. Oh, there's a, there's a donkey! Oh! There's a donkey! There's no saddle on this one either. It is tame, but there's no saddle on it. And there's nothing in the inventory. I don't... I'm I'm taking it. Oh, there's also a, a, a cyan sheep up there. There. Okay, so clearly people have been in the area. But I'm, I'm taking this. Uh, because, yeah, I'd, I'd be a fool not to. So, uh, because, I mean, this is more inventory space. So let me go ahead and, and saddle this guy up. And then I'm actually going to snag the saddle off of this horse here. I don't know whose horse this is. There's no base in the area from what I can see. It looks like it just wandered off someplace. So... Uh, all right, now this is awesome. This is great. I'm loading this guy up with all the plant stuff that I don't really need to hold on to me. I don't need to or have on me that I'm going to load it up there. I might run back and grab that extra stack of eggs now. This opens up a world of possibilities. I love it. I'm going to throw the... Actually, I don't know. I don't, if he dies and I have to get out of there quickly, I don't want to lose the ability to make the end chest. Uh, that can go in there as well. The string, sure, why not? The magma cream, don't really need. Throw the extra saddle in there. Look at all the space I got. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. All right, so all the valuables up on top there. Some extra meat. Oh yeah, donkey. Uh, all right, yeah, awesome. Let's get let's get back to spawn and go grab some of those things. This thing is a little slow, but I will. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind it being a little bit slow when uh, when you know we have all that extra storage space. So if this was someone don someone's donkey, I'm sorry. Uh, you didn't have it penned up, and it's just kind of roaming in the middle of a giant open field next to a forest. I don't I don't see a base in the area at all. Uh, so I'm, I'm claiming it. It's gonna be mine. I could actually name it too. Um, I might name him Eddie because because <laughs> uh, it was I, I believe it was Eddie Murphy that did the voice of the donkey on Shrek, right? So name him Eddie. Um, but I got to settle down. I got to get a uh, I got to get a base going before I worry about naming him because I have to get an anvil and so many things have to happen. So yeah, it looks like someone actually is building a little tree house here, literally like it's a house in a tree. Uh, I don't know whose head that is, um, but that's whose base it is. I'm assuming. Uh, here lies Steve, who died from a, a cumulative attack of the meat sweats. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, rip, Steve. Oh, this looks interesting. Oh. 
This looks really interesting. Look at this stuff. That's crazy. Okay, so yeah, there's custom terrain on this. So it's not just pure vanilla, as you probably noticed from the trees that were back near spawn. Um, so yeah, this is nuts. See, seeing stuff like this makes me not want to build a floating base. <laughs> like, a, a base in the sky. It makes me want to actually build something on the ground in this valley, in this gorge. Um, but there's a, there's someone's base right there, so it's really close. So I don't really know if I want to do that. Yeah, see, like, you imagine like some suspension bridges going across the top here or whatever, you know, maybe a mining colony down at the bottom. I can see it. Oh, somebody else could see it too, it looks like. <laughs> they had uh, they had built the base up on top there. Oh, and they are far along. They got beacons and everything. Yeah, but oh, this this looks like such a cool place. It sucks that somebody already has it claimed. So, I mean, that, that's probably why is because they're overlooking the valley and wanted to say, I don't know about that huge patch of diorite there. That's pretty crazy. Yeah, I could have, man, I could have done some crazy stuff with this. I mean, natural generation that looks this good is uh, something that you'd uh, you'd want right off the bat during for your build set. There's a, uh, actually a lot less work for you to do that. <laughs> it's like a Grand Canyon. Actually, there's more room here. I might be able to still build over here because there's just more, more room to do. Except for now we're getting a little bit wider. So as far as suspension bridges, I'm not so sure. Although you could do like, oh no, there's somebody's base here. Never mind. <laughs> I said you could do like a, like a tower base. Oh, actually, I know what that is. I'm not even gonna look at that. I know what that is. I saw a screenshot on the Discord. I know exactly what that is. I picked 360 degrees. I could go from spawn, and I went right towards that. It's a little inappropriate. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can't get out of this valley and uh, get onto greener pastures and see what else I can find. Boy, if there was a place to build a floating base, I mean, this would be it. This is a big open plains. Nothing out here other than just the uh, occasional animal. I mean, somebody's base doesn't look like they're too far along, though. It's just stone and wood that they use to build out of. Whose base is this? I see a sign. That's claimed by Alyssa Muffins and Wyatt. Oh, I stumbled upon your base, you guys. Hello. Knock, knock. I should leave a sign. I'm going to leave a sign. Grimer was here in 2020. <laughs> there you go. All right, awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and just stick the rest of those signs on there because I might use them a little bit later at my own base. Oh, they have an anvil. Hmm. Hmm. No, I don't think they'd mind if I'd use the anvil. Hmm. Do they have an end chest? They don't have an end chest. That's where my book is. <laughs> Dang it. I mean, I could make it. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, if I get some... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make the uh, I'm gonna make the end chest right here and right now uh, because if I do this... I can get a silk touch pick working with my my uh, diamond pick down there. So let's go ahead and uh, make the end chest. Bam, got it. All right, slap that bad boy down right there. Now I can't pick that up with a, without silk touch. Well, look at this. Here's silk touch. Nice. There's also an efficiency four book right there. I kind of wanted to do an enchantment on this pick to begin with, to try to get efficiency four on it and then combine it. In fact, you know what? I might. Hmm. 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 I might. I might do a separate pick that has that. But I did, I need to get silk touch at least on it to pick up my end chest now. So. Let's go ahead and do this. That just puts a regular silk touch pickaxe, and we're gonna call it like I always do, silk touched. Except uh, I wouldn't mind capitalizing T. It's all about the proper, proper uh, grammar and whatnot. Let's see, yep, okay, silk touched. It has silk touch on it, and that's it. All right, great, got it, good. Now I can pick this back up. Let's see, they, that's the anvil. That's all I need to put on there. I could also name Eddie. I'm gonna name Eddie while I'm here too. Go ahead and get Eddie named. Bam, Eddie. <laughs> All right. So that opened up a little room in my uh, end chest also, which I'm going to drop that in there too so I don't have to hold on to it. All right, let me go ahead and pick up my end chest. Without efficiency, it still takes a little bit to mine, but with Silk Touch, I should be able to just grab that. Good. That opens up a world of possibilities for me. Uh, thank you, uh, Alyssa. Oh, I kind of I kind of did it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put a block of iron in here too. To repay you for uh, damaging your anvil. Okay, so thank you, Alyssa and Wyatt, for allowing me to use that. I, I clearly asked beforehand. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get on the road again here and see if I can't find any any place to settle down. Uh, Death Valley entrance, nifty. I'm going on in. Hopefully, it's not like legitimate Death Valley. Like there's just a bunch of traps in here to murder you. It looks like they lit up this place a little bit, so somebody must be planning on doing more building in this area. These big hills, these big, like, they're not quite mountains, really, but these big hills are pretty in intense. Like, they're as tall as mountains in, in Minecraft, but they're just, you know, they don't have the snow and stuff on them. Really tall, uh, tall hills that they have in this uh, land generation. This is kind of awesome.
Mm hmm. We have stumbled upon a savanna. Now I don't. I don't really like building in savannas. I think they kind of look like puke. <laughs> but I mean, I could always try to push myself. Um, I remember on Vintagecraft, I had never really built in a desert, and I pushed myself on that, and that actually turned out pretty good. It turned out pretty decent. Not gonna lie, I, I kind of like that base. So maybe I could push myself on this one too. But like I said, initially floating base is what I was thinking of. If I could find one of those really, really awesome valleys, then maybe I'll build in that instead. I think I'm heading farther from spawn. Yeah, going back to spawn is going to be a real pain uh, to buy, like, the books and stuff like that. But I'll I'll do it. You know, it's worth it, obviously. But um, once I get my hands on an elytra, it'll make life a whole lot easier. Until then, I just got Eddie. Now, journey map is allowed on the server. You can have, like, a, an, a, an external map or a map in the corner. You know, like, you could add that mod if you wanted to. I'm going to try to stay away from it simply because uh, I like playing vanilla Minecraft sometimes. I like the separation of modded and, and uh, vanilla. So I'm not going to add that to this. Okay, so this looks less like a cliff or a canyon and more of a step. Oh, there's a there's a village. Let me go check that out. If there's villagers there, I might want to stick around. They're like I might want to find a place around here to settle down because getting villagers would be handy for getting mending and stuff without having to buy it. And I wouldn't have to run back to spawn, actually. I could be self-sufficient out here. Yeah, there are villagers here. There's a there's a uh, a thing a thing a church. A church usually means that uh, there is a brewing stand inside. So if it's untouched, there might still be. Look at that. Yes, there is. Snag that. Thank you very much. Now I usually build in the plains, but I usually build like garbage builds in the plains. <laughs> so um, I wouldn't mind finding something other than the plains. This plains is insane. This is just ridiculously big. The village is somewhere back there. I probably should have taken down cords or something, but um, this is insane how far out I've gone so far. I wish this was kind of like the Zawa server where I could just grab a net and snag a couple villagers and then get out of here. Nothing quite like the smell of burning zombies in the morning. This can't beat that. Is that water? I see water up ahead. Did I find the ocean? Huh. Alright, so due south led to an ocean across the huge plains. I mean, the landscaping was incredible. It's just, it's so vast. And this actually has a nice beach. Look at this. This looks awesome. Like, this is, this is cool. I mean, this is what you should see when you come across an ocean. You should see beaches, you know? Alright, so, I can't cross the ocean with my donkey, which means that my inventory can't cross that, that body of water. Uh, if I had raised the donkey since birth, like as a, as a child, uh, I could have actually put the child in the boat and then raised it up. I could have had a donkey in a boat, which is awesome, but I didn't, that didn't happen. So I don't have that option. So I can't cross the ocean with all my, with my inventory the way it is right now. It's either that or I'd have to take multiple trips. And, uh, although I think I could actually tie a lead to the donkey. I wonder if that works. Do like a donkey jet ski or a don donkey water ski? <laughs> I was about to say that was a good band name, but honestly, I don't think it is. <laughs> this beach is awesome, though. Like, I, I'd almost want to build something here on the on the coast. Do like a, a beach house kind of setup, sort of tiki bar kind of looking thing. That could actually work. And you don't really need to do that up the landscape that much, too, to make that work. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here we have some more land on the other side of this. Looks like a canal. I wonder if there's anything over there. Because this needs a bridge. <laughs> this really badly needs a bridge. Now, I could... There's a sea turtle. I could push my uh, sea turtles. Oh, hold on. Wait, I got silk touch. Okay, this is a thing that's about to happen. Let's get some iron here. Let's get shears going. I'm going to go breed up these turtles. And get them, uh, get them banging, and then I'm gonna collect the eggs for later so that I can get a, a turtle helmet. All right, that should be plenty. I'm thinking. Let me go get these turtles uh, in the mood. Hey, turtles, you want some seagrass? There you go. Do your thing. Yeah. Push that sand out of the way. Yeah, you too. Let me see those eggs. Because with Silk Touch, I can pick up the turtle eggs, plant them wherever I want, and then uh, and then hatch them whenever I want. And just finding the turtles is usually the problem. Looks like those two are going. These ones are going over here. I just need some eggs. I need you guys to produce some eggs. Oh, that one's making a lot of mess over there in the sand. 
Aha! Eggs! Don't mind if I do. Ooh, cheers. I forgot they break off individually. Got some eggs. I almost stepped on those other ones. I did kind of step on them, but they didn't crack, thankfully. Okay, got a few eggs. Let's see, you guys want to make some more, more babies? I don't really need the turtle helmet, but it'd be nice just to get one. So I need a couple more eggs, people. If you guys could get to work on that, that would be great. Aha! I heard him. There they are, right there. There's one. I'm trying not to hit this turtle. She's she's defending her nest. And I'm still going to take them. Don't make me destroy you. Oh, there's some more eggs right there. I just heard them. Oh, man, they're really pumping up the eggs now. I need them to get off of the eggs. Oh, this one's available. Got it. Get back in the water. <laughs> I, I'm, an, I'm a friend to all forms of wildlife. And by that, I mean I'm stealing these guys' eggs. Oh, I thought I lost my donkey for a second. I was like, where did he go? Get over here, Eddie. We gotta watch these turtles bang. Oh, I see some eggs right there. Awesome. That gives me 11. That should probably be pretty good. I don't need to wait around here any longer. I'm gonna wrap up this episode here because I've, uh, I've done a lot of adventuring looking for things and looking for a place to settle on. I'll keep looking off camera and hopefully I'll find a good spot. And so when I join up with you guys next time, hopefully I'll have a little place set up, a little something something going so that I can get to get to building. So if you did enjoy this episode, please be sure to smash that like button. It helps me out a lot. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.